Hi, it's Matt Pochatz here. I hope you're getting all ramped up for Christmas and that you value the season for the increased contact with family and friends, more so than the shopping, decorating, wrapping, and giving and receiving gifts. As you can see this week, I, I've uh, incorporated a Christmas tree into my little scene, just scooted my chair around to, to just give us some Christmas feel. I really enjoy this season uh, just with family and friends. Um, this past summer, I shared some thoughts on perception, but I felt called to go back to the topic and expand on it a little bit. Uh, we've had quite a few new subscribers since then. I think it's a concept we most all need to be mindful of. My inclination to revisit it came from some encounters with people over the last few weeks. It truly is remarkable the power that perception packs. Your perception of something is your reality. When we perceive something or someone to be a certain way, we can easily and inadvertently make it that way. And therefore, our perception became our reality. How often in life do we allow false perception to steer us off course or even make, it, make us complete give up on someone or something? I promise you that perception does become reality. And that can be a good thing if our perceptions are healthy positive and realistic. But one of the recent situations that sparked this thought was a negative perception of how much the holidays suck because of the shopping, decorating, parties, and the entire family comes to town. This person was just negatively perceiving the holidays that way. And if you perceive that the holidays suck, it's that it's all madness, then that's exactly the reality you'll arrive at. And you'll likely miss some great moments in the process. If you perceive that life is awful, that it's unfair, nothing is right about it, that every day is a chore, then that's exactly what life becomes. And nothing will change until you perceive it to be better and choose a positive mental attitude. Only then does your reality change. When in the workforce, I was amazed by how many stared at their watch all day, waiting for the hand to strike quitting time because they hated their job. They perceived it to be an obligation and only a requirement in life in order to make a living. What if we instead perceive it to be an opportunity to make a living? And even further, an opportunity to excel at our job, to make the company we work for better, and to bless our employer's family with a healthy lifestyle. Face it, most all of us have to work. What if instead of working to get, we looked at work as an opportunity to give. And in the process, we do get what we need to fulfill our needs, along with the fulfillment of knowing we invest something of value in our employer and or coworkers. Wouldn't that change your perception out outlook on your day when you woke up each morning? It, it saddens me deeply to see marriages failing at an alarming rate. I'm one of the statistics in that arena. Looking back on the process of trying to repair my marriage, my perception was that it was never going to be what it once was, that I had picked the wrong partner, and that we had no connection, never would, and that there was no hope. And that's exactly the reality I arrived at, no hope. We have to be real in our perceptions, so the proper perception should have been that yes, it is bad, yes, I've made a mess, and yes, it's going to take time and effort. However, that there is hope and that it can be repaired and that getting out is absolutely not an option. I perceived that divorce was an option to fall back on if we couldn't repair it and therefore I fell back to that reality. My other false perception was that she needed to change and I needed to help her discover that. Wrong. Even if she did need to change, a healthy perception would have been to accept and believe that I can't change her. I can only change me. And therefore, that's exactly where I should have expended all my energy on fixing me. We choose perceptions every day, in every decision, every interaction with a stranger, every relationship with a friend or loved one, and even our view of ourselves. Maybe you're thinking, okay, Matt, I'm with you, but how do I choose the right perception in the moment? 
Honestly, friend, as hard as it is sometimes, the answer goes back to a thought from earlier this year. How is your PMA? PMA being positive mental attitude. Approaching life with a positive mental attitude means that your perceptions are generally positive. In the toughest of situations, I can perceive that my circumstance will make me bitter or better, and my perception will be followed by reality. Start today and begin to keep your perception in check. If it's creating a negative outlook, stop in the moment and choose to find the positive embedded in your negative circumstance and perceive that you must be facing it for a reason and that you can gain something from the experience. In conclusion, I will say though, that perceiving the potential for disaster or a negative impact or influence is wise because you need to be aware of the stakes. However, be careful that your awareness of the negative doesn't become perception that the negative that the outcome will be negative. Negative perception generates negative reality. This week, choose a realistic yet whenever possible a positive perception. Perception is reality. Have a great week. Enjoy the holidays.